good morning and welcome to today's session today we will discuss the surface integrals it's of uh, the continuation of your last class today we will discuss this i have to find the surface integral of a uh, integral of a vector field here is the definition let f be a continuous vector field defined in a region containing the oriented surface s that means we want to find the uh, a continuous vector field is given we want to find its uh, surface integral uh, along a normal that means there is the surface integral of f across s in the direction of the normal n that means see here this red line shows the force given or the vector field that means uh, one more surface is given that is to going to be this s now we want to find the surface integral of f uh, across s in the direction of this unit normal so let us see uh, how we can find it this surface integral is also called a flex integral the surface integral is also called a flex integral of a vector field f across an oriented surface s in the integral of the normal component of f over s so if the fluid has the density rho x y z at x y z then the flex integral is going to be as you know this is going to density is equal to rho is equal to mass by volume right so rho into f dot and form will come so this is rho into f dot and ds so the formula is integral over s rho f dot and ds this gives the mass of the fluid flowing across s per unit time so this is just the derivation of how we can find it so uh, most of the derivations are not included in your syllabus but for your, for your understanding sake only i'm just going through this derivation now to obtain the formula for finding the flex integral or we call that the surface integral of the term g x y so recall the, we have the definition of z equal to g of x y should remember this our standard form is z equal to g of x y form then uh, when you are finding delta g and what is g then delta g if you are finding means g should be equal to g of x y z equal to z minus g of x y so when you are finding like this and when you identify this g function you can easily form what is the normal okay and the normal equation is given as n equal to delta g of x y z by norm of delta g x y z since it is going to be the unit normal okay so first we should we should identify what is g small g then what is capital g then we can easily calculate what is the normal so this is the first step for finding the surface integral of a vector field L across a surface in the direction of a unit normal so first we want to find what is that unit normal next is ds we know that ds is equal to square root of gx xyz square plus gy xyz square plus 1 into da this we have already come across this formula so our integral double integral over s f dot and ds will become double integral over d f dot instead of n we can substitute whatever you have found for the unit normal into ds ds we can apply this formula just substituting here you will get this to be as see this two are going to be the same right so gx xy z square same so we can cancel this two more so whatever remaining is double integral over d f dot minus gx xy i minus gy xy j plus k d a so this is going to be your formula where d is the projection of s onto the x y plane right that means when you are having uh, some some image like this some solid of the form like this means you can project this to your x y plane right so this is your x y plane means if you are projecting this you will get something right here a rectangle right so this is your r this is the actual solid and this is the r that we are specifying here not r d sorry this is the d that we are specifying here 
So D is the projection of S onto the XY plane. So if F of XYZ can be written as P of XYZ I plus Q of XYZ J plus R XYZ K, then we can write double integral over S F dot and D S as integral over D minus P G X dot C. N we have written as G X x y i plus minus g y x y j plus k right so when you're taking its dot product you will get p g x minus q g y plus r d a so this is going to be your formula for finding the surface integral of a vector field so uh, evaluation of surface integral for graphs so uh, you need not worry about the derivation part uh, it is not included in your syllabus just you study this formula and uh, uh, just you understand how we are doing this problems so whenever f is equal to pi plus qj plus rk is a continuous vector field whenever it's a continuous vector field in a region that contains a smooth oriented surface as given by z equal to g of xy and d is its projection on to the xy plane then integral over s f dot ds can be taken as integral over d minus p g x minus q uh, g y plus r d a so just you remember uh, what is your f f is given to be as i am writing here f is given to be as p i plus q j plus r k is a continuous vector field then it is oriented uh, along a surface s and the surface is given to be as z equal to g minus x y g minus x y right so first of all you want to identify what is this surface now this uh, double integral over s f dot d s it is given to be as double integral over d minus P G X minus Q G Y. What is Q G Y? Then uh, plus R. So everything I can put in a bracket in D A. So this is going to be the formula. Now we can note here that note here that if the given surface is going to be the union of subsurfaces that is as if s is going to be the union of s1 union s2 union extra union sn where each of the surfaces is smooth and uh, intersect only along their boundaries that means uh, suppose you are having this as the surface s and suppose this is something like this so now it has been split up into uh, three one s1 s2 and s3 so instead of finding the integral uh, over this uh, surface s it is enough to find the integral over s1 uh, integral over s2 integral over s3 and just add these three values okay so that is this not says i think you understood just you remember this formula and this whenever a force is given or uh, f is given as a vector field it should be py pi plus uj plus rk form and whenever a surface is given that surface should be of this form z equal to g of xy now g, this g of xy is going to be a gx and gy with a partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y now example we want to evaluate the double integral over s f dot ds where f of xyz equal to xi plus yj plus zk so first of all you want to identify what is this function so f of xyz f of xyz is given to be as xi plus yj plus zk right so we have identified what is your vector one here and the surface that is composed of part of the paraboloid so here g uh, we are having uh, small g of x y is going to be 1 minus x square minus y square see this one now what do we want to find we want to find g x what is g x here minus 2 x similarly g y minus 
tau y right now here when you are observing this surface see this surface is going to be as uh, a paraboloid with this one right so we can split this surface into two types that is this portion this curved portion as s1 and this circular portion can you imagine this circular portion as your s2 so this is your s2 and this is your s1 so instead of finding the double integral over this s we can find this as integral over double integral over s1 plus double integral over s2 so how we can find this see we are applying the formula f dot ds f dot ds is equal to double integral over d minus pgx minus qgy plus r ds so along s1 so s1 means what is this one this curved one this curved one right so in that case your pgx we want to find your uh, as we have written here pgx okay so when you are finding this uh, pgx this should be p is your uh, x so x into minus 2x will come right that is minus 2 x square next is uh, we want to find q g y q g y is uh, again y into uh, minus 2 y so that will result minus 2 y square so just we want to substitute it here and r as z value <laughs> see so we have substituted minus x into minus 2x minus y into minus 2y right plus z s h into d a so all together this expression will become double integral over d 2x square plus 2y square plus z d a but z we have already given that z equal to 1 minus x square minus y square so just you want to substitute it here so you get 2x square plus 2y square plus 1 minus x square minus y square we can simplify it so it will become 1 2x square minus x square will become x square then 2y square minus y square will become y square then d a s h now we can convert this everything into polar coordinates so when you are converting this to polar coordinates from where to where and all your r and theta is varying that we should take care so when you are uh, having r is changing from this point to this point right r is changing from this point to this point and your theta is varying from here to here so uh, when you are finding your theta is varying from 0 to 2 pi and your rotation now and it is varying from your r is varying from where to where have you got it as 1 because it's given to be as z equal to 1 minus x square plus y square right so your r is varying from this point from this point to 0 to this point you can uh, just you are having equation x equal to 0 for this right so when you are putting x equal to 0 you get 1 minus y square right now along this direction means y is also 0 so you are getting z value is equal to 1 So here R is varying from zero to one. So zero to one. Now one plus x square plus y square is nothing but R square. Now d a can be replaced with R d R d theta. This we have come across in your polar coordinate system. So whatever is uh, remaining integral is integral. First we want to integrate with respect to R here. So it will become. R square R plus R cube. So finding this integral and uh, putting the value from R zero to R one d theta. So it will become integral zero to two pi three by four d theta. And when you substituting two pi, you will get three by four into two pi. That is three by two pi. So this is the surface integral along the surface S one. Right now we want to find what is the surface integral along S two. So how to find that S two? So next to observe that the normal for the surface S two is uh, minus k. So S two is minus k. 
so here is coming your s2 so uh, here we have considered <coughs> the normals in this direction from outside right so here in all the god has surface like this too here too we have considered the normal in this direction that is in the outward direction but here too when you are considering it in the outward direction means it is of minus k type right so normally is closed surface by convention points outwards right so we have double integral over s2 f dot ds is equal to double integral over s2 f dot of instead of ds we can having minus k that is going to be the unit normal minus k ds so what is minus k here minus 8 right so we have a integral over d minus 8 da that is equal to integral over d 0 da because z here is 0 this is the xy plane right so this is the xy plane so z value is 0 so what is coming is you will get this integral is going to be 0 so all together when you are finding the surface integral over the surface s means we should add these two result that is double integral over s1 f dot ds plus double integral over s2 f dot ds so we will get 3 by 2 pi plus 0 so the resultant is 3 by 2 pi so we can note here two things so when you are uh, converting this to a practical problem uh, we can see that the field f of example for describe the velocity of a fluid it is the velocity of a fluid flowing through the paraboloidal surface s then the integral double integral over f dot ds ds that have we have just evaluated tell us that the fluid is flowing out because we have got the direction as outwards right so outwards through s at a rate of 3 pi by 2 cubic unit per unit time now uh, when you are having this normal to be as minus n then also since the amount flowing in the opposite direction also we will have the fluid flow into s at the same rate 3 pi by 2 cubic units per time next is the parametric surfaces hope you understood this section next is the parametric surfaces if an oriented surface s is a smooth surface represented by a vector equation r of uv is equal to x uv i plus y uv j plus z uv k so our equation is i am writing here r uv r uv is equal to x uv i plus y uv j plus uh, z uv z uv k if this is the condition then with the parametric domain d then uh, the form normal to s is given by uh, n equal to r u cross r v by norm of r u cross r v therefore double integral over s f dot ds is equal to integral double integral over s f dot s ds that will become double integral over s f dot r u cross f dot n we are replacing n with the unit norm here that is r u cross r v by modulus of r u cross r v ds so it will become double integral over d f of r u v function of we have converted this into r of u v right vector form then r u cross r v by norm of r u cross r v so here whenever is given in parametric representation we should uh, take care that we are taking your normal as r u cross r v by modulus of r u cross r v now here is the theorem <coughs> this two derivation is not there for you so evaluation of surface integrals of a vector field whenever it is in the parametric surface form so if f is a continuous vector field 
F is a continuous vector field in a region that contains a smooth oriented surface S with a parametric representation R U V is equal to X of U V I plus Y of U V J plus Z of U V K U V belongs to D then the surface integral of F over S is double integral over S F dot D S equal to double integral over D F of R U V dot R U cross R V D A okay if you are not remembering this formula also, just you remember integral over s f dot d s, right? And this is equal to double integral over d. You can replace that with f dot n d a, right? And this remember n as whenever your vector is given as r u v is equal to x u v i plus y u v j plus Z U V K uh, U V K then this normal N is given by R U cross R V by norm of R U cross R V. So just you substitute this. No need of remembering this formula itself. If you are uh, substituting this, you will get the formula itself, right? F of R U V into this into uh, you are getting ds so ds can be replaced with ru cross rv da okay so you should remember that too this can be removed with uh, norm of uh, this n da n is this then uh, instead of da into one more time is the ru cross rv da so just you remember this you can easily find what is this formula. So, example, the flex of a vector field f of x, y, z equal to x, i plus y, j, uh, sorry, y, i plus x, j plus 2, z, k across the unit sphere. So, what is given is a unit sphere. Okay. So, it's given thing is a unit sphere. So, we want to find the integral over the surface. So, we are going for this parametric representation here. In example 10, in the previous session, we know that the surface area of a sphere of radius A, we have calculated that as R U V is equal to A sin U cos V I, A sin U sin V J plus A cos U K. Now, R U cross R V also, we can find out as such. So, we are making use of this here. That is this representation, parametric representation here. So, unit sphere means A equal to 1 here. So, we can replace uh, with the parametric representation as R U V equal to sin U cos V I plus sin U sin V J plus cos U K with the parametric domain D equal to set over U V such that 0 less than or equal to U less than or equal to pi, 0 less than or equal to V less than or equal to 2 pi. Right now, proceeding as in example 10, that is means uh, just before we have noted now that example, how we can take is put a is equal to 1. Now, r u cross r v, r u cross r v is going to be uh, you can easily find this in this version. See here, uh, we have found that too in example 10, uh, we have found. Uh, R U cross R V that is this one. So just you want to substitute A equal to 1. So it will become sin square U cos square cos V I plus sin square U sin V plus sin U cos U K. Right? So it's J. So exactly that is coming here. R U cross R V. Now, we want to find what is f of r u v dot r u cross r v. That is, we can easily find it by component wise. You will get an expression like this. Now, you see equation 8. What do you see? Equation 8, nothing but our formula. See, f of r u v dot r u cross r v is integral over d a. So, whatever you have found, go for its integral d a. So, this one. Now, we have substituted for this. Right? And A, we have substituted as du dv. 
So it will become 2 into integral over 0 to pi sin cube u du into what is remaining is uh, sin cube u into integral 0 to 2 pi with respect to uh, v u r integrate. Right? So we can integrate like this. We have picked this into 2. That's the only thing we have done. So the first term on the right is equal to 0. So this term is going to be 0. How? We are having uh, integral over 0 to 2 pi sin v cos v. We know that the formula, trigonometric formula, sin 2 theta is equal to sin theta 2 sin theta cos theta. Right? Sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta. So here is having your sin v, sin v cos v. Right? So sin 2v should be equal to 2 sin v cos v. So sin v cos v should be equal to sin 2v by 2 or 1 by 2 into sin 2v. So here is a mistake here. This is not sin square u. This is going to be sin 2v. Anyway, that is going to be 0. So our this integral, integral will be become double integral over s f dot ds is going to be only this part that is 2 into integral 0 to pi cos square u sin u du into integral 0 to 2 pi dv now this will become 2 into 2 into cos square u we know that this by substitution method you can put cos uh, u is equal to some Mm, something like theta then what is coming is uh, you will get uh, sin u du minus sin u du is equal to d theta you get just you substitute it here right now it will reduce us as 8 pi by 3 so this is how we are finding the surface integral of a vector field in a parameterized form now application of this here we are having two application one is going to be in terms of electrical energy in electrical energy we know that uh, in Coulomb's law and all then is electricity uh, is the electric field electrics field induced by an electric charge of Q Coulomb located at the origin of a three dimensional coordinate system we know that the formula is going to be E equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into R by R cube. Where epsilon naught is a constant called permittivity of free space. Now if S is a sphere of radius R centered at the origin, then the surface integral, integral over S, E dot N ds, it will become. Right? Similarly, another application is uh, in the study of heat flow. In the study of heat flow, we are having the equation Q is equal to minus K into dt, where uh, delta T represent the temperature gradient. Okay. So, this uh, just you want to remember these two applications only. Just you read it. That's enough. Where K is a constant of proportionality known as the thermal conductivity of the body. The rate at which heat flows across a surface as in the body is given by the surface integral double integral over s q dot n d s equal to minus k into double integral over s delta t dot n d s. It's just for your uh, understanding sake only this application is given. Now rate of flow of heat across a sphere. The temperature at a point P X Y Z in the medium uh, with thermal conductivity K is inversely proportional to the distance between P. So here F is given to be as or T is given to be as T X Y Z is inversely proportional to the so K into 1 by distance. What is the distance from the origin? So distance from the origin means suppose you are having something like this and somewhere here the point and this point is given by x, y, z 
then the distance is going to be square root of x minus 0 square that is square root of x square plus y square plus z square. So one thing here is that we should identify what is this function. So we want to uh, find the surface integral of this function t of x, y, z equal to c constant of proportionality c by square root of x square plus y square plus z square since uh, here one k term is given already right what is k thermal conductivity so only we are using the letter c here so q equal to minus k into delta t that's equal to minus k into cx by x square plus y square plus z square everything raised to 3 by 2 right we want to find the uh, gx term right so here is given uh, gx into y next is c by this into gx dot gx right have you remembering the formula what is the formula when you are finding this q delta t we want to find so delta t means we want to find the derivative with respect to x at first derivative with respect to y then next derivative with respect to z right so delta t means delta of t means dou t by dou x into i plus dou t by dou y into j plus dou t by dou z into k right so we have used it here so whatever is remaining is into uh, c k into x square plus y square plus z square everything raised to 3 by 2 into x i plus y j plus z k the outward unit normal to the sphere at the point is we are finding that to be as 1 by a into uh, because how you got this means n is given by x i plus y j plus z k right divided by square root of its norm x square plus y square plus z square since it is given that it is a unit sphere so root of x square plus y square plus z square should be equal to 1 or a radius a so a by x i plus y j plus z k so the rate at which the heat flow across s is integral over s q dot n d s is equal to double integral over s c k by x square plus y square plus z square everything raised to 3 by 2 into this dot with 1 by a into see here actually 1 by a uh, here is given that uh, this medium thermal conductivity is inversely proportional to the distance. Find the rate of flow of across the sphere of uh, radius is given as a. Uh, so we want to find 1 by a into 1 by a into xi plus yj plus zk into ds. So this will become ck by a as a constant you are taking outside double integral over s. So can you cancel anything here? Anything which can be cancelled here? Yes. When you are keeping dot product with this, you will get xi plus yj plus zk dot. See, I am writing here. From here, here what you are having xi plus yj plus zk. Do you want to take dot product this with xi plus yj plus zk? So, when you are having this dot product, it will become x square plus y square plus z square right x square plus y square plus z square now what is coming uh, in the denominator by the same term right into x square plus y square plus z square everything raised to 3 by 2 so this entire thing will become x square plus y square plus z square everything traced to 1 minus 3 by 2 so that will become minus 1 by 2 right so we are getting is x square plus y square plus z square everything raised to minus 1 by 2 or that is 1 by x square plus y square plus z square raised to 1 by 2 that is square root of this ds now x square plus y square plus z square is given to be as the radius of the sphere so you get this as a right root a will become a square 
then root of that become a. So the constant will become c k by a square into double integral over s ds. Right? Now ds means nothing but the area. Right? Integral of s ds will become the area of the sphere. Okay. So that written as a s. Now what is the area of the sphere of radius a? 4 pi a square. Right? 4 pi a square. So the entire thing will become c k by a square into 4 pi a square. Now a square a square get cancelling. You will get 4 pi c k. So the answer is 4 pi c k. This is how you are finding your vector <coughs> surface integral of a vector whenever it is given in parametric form as a graph and uh, this means as an application of this one. Okay. So let me uh, wind up here. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you.